Hello, my name is Laura, Laura Kleber from My Home Matters, and I'm relatively new to this YouTube scene, so I am here today. I'm going to show you one of our new kits. We have lots of kits in our shop. Um, this is gonna be a new one. This is not in the shop yet, but it's going to be. This is a cute little tote bag. Oh, well, it's about six or eight inches. Oh, it's probably eight inches deep. It has a black liner. We also have this with white lining. It is like a, bur um, a burlap down here and a twill kind of here. So what I'm gonna do, I have a stencil for both sides. What I'm gonna do on the first side for this video is I'm gonna put my initials, because this is gonna be for me. So it's gonna just be a little travel bag. So I'm going to make sure that the handles are not underneath. So it's gonna be a little bumpy, so I want it to be as smooth as possible. Let me turn it down so you can see a little better. I'm gonna pull, first thing I'm gonna do is pull the backing off. So sometimes it helps to flip it over and very slowly, and very carefully, pull the backing off being careful that you don't pull up pieces like that. So if that happens, just backtrack, press it back down, and just go slow. It's gonna be a little more tempting to come up with the backing. The vinyl's gonna be more tempting, tempted to come up with the backing if you have a lot of detail. So now that exposed the sticky back. Now I just have this section here, I'm only gonna be actually painting on this section here. I'm gonna be using this black fabric paint. I'm going to be using this round dome brush. And I have a fabric, black fabric brush, just in case um, I need to do any touch-ups. So I want to try to make sure that I get this centered. I don't want it to go over the edge. And approximately the same distance in from each side. I can kind of use my handles to center my K in the center. So let's see, there, that might show up a little bit better. So I'm gonna press that on as much as I can. It's not gonna stick as well as it does on a, on a wood background. And then wherever you can grab a hold of this top layer of transfer paper, which is gonna be the question, you wanna hold down the silver or whatever color your paper is. I'm gonna hold that down with one hand and try to pull this transfer paper off. You're gonna have to go very slow because it does wanna come up, but it's gonna be a little bit easier once you have this off to paint than it would be if we just used a sheet of cardstock. Sometimes you don't have a choice, that is, depending on the backing. You may not be able to use the sticky back vinyl, but in this case, we can use it. We just have to go very slow. So we wanna keep making sure this is pressed down. And again, if any pieces come up with the transfer paper, just backtrack, press it back down, and keep going. So I like to use one hand to hold the stencil down while the other one pulls off. I, don't, I try not to pull the stencil up and away from because that typically will pull your stencil right off with it. Okay, so I have an L, an A, and a K here in my initials. I'm excited about this. So we're gonna press around all of that. I have some black fabric paint. Like I said, this is um, the brand Tulip. It is black, plain black, and it is fabric paint. So I'm going to use this. I like these because they're they're called dome shaped. They're rounded so that the edges, if it was flat, the edges aren't as tempted to kind of push underneath of the stencil. So what I'm gonna do is dip in a little bit and dab off the excess. So I wanna start with thinner to make sure that I don't have too much. And I'm not gonna worry about it going through. This is pretty thick, but it's also a black lining. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that. If you are worried, or if you have the white version, you could always take that piece that you just took off the back and slide it in behind to make sure that this doesn't go through. But it's pretty thick, so I don't think that's gonna be an issue. And then I'm going to up and down dab the paint on. And I always try to stick with thinner amounts of paint than thick. 
but I'm, I like the brush more so than a makeup sponge. I like it more so than, than this. We can try this just to see how it works. I just feel like the brush gets, you can press the brush into the fabric a little bit better. So that's why I like these better. So your kit would come with your initials, your stencil initials, you would tell us that. It would also come with your choice of tote background, the black or the white, um, the black or the white lining. And you would get the brush and you would get some paint and you would get a black fabric marker. Now these are not listed yet as of the time of me doing this video on our site because I'm kind of jumping the gun. I didn't even let uh, Darcy know that I was doing this yet. So I need to get her all of this information. I need to make sure that we have enough stocked of the backgrounds. Uh, and once we have that done, um, they will be available in the shop, which is, by the way, Laura Kleber, L-A-U-R-A, K-L-E, B is in Bob, E-R, home, lauracleberhome.com. And when you get into the, to the website, you just go to the order and shop tab, and there is a section for kits and stencils. So this will be in there at some point. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, we'll announce. Or if you are on our email list, we will let you know when these are available. But I'm excited about these because we can actually do lots of different options for this. I have a different, I have a saying that I'm gonna put on the other side because I figured this would be something I can use kind of for some travel, back and forth trips to our camp. I always need an extra bag, but this is a nice quality bag. So um, I'm excited, but one side will be done with my initials. And then I'll come back and show you what I do on the other side. I gotta let this side dry before I can flip it over. But it's a lot of pouncing. It's a little bit of a arm workout, shoulder workout, hand workout. Just keep pressing down along the sides and go straight up and down. If you go like this, you're gonna get the paint in to the fabric, to the weave of the fabric, maybe perhaps a little bit better. But I also, I don't like to do that because I always, you know, that risks pushing the paint underneath of the stencil and that, that I, we don't want. We want nice crisp lines. So with something like this, that's not necessarily a smooth surface, um, I wanna be careful with that. So I'm almost done. And then I'll be able to pull this stencil off. And I'm excited about joining the YouTube community. So I've only got, this is only the second video I will ever have loaded into YouTube. So lucky you, you're, you're watching an amateur here, but I have been doing lots of live videos. We do a lot of live Facebook videos over on our My Home Matters page. Okay, so you wanna just kinda look back and make sure you didn't miss anywhere. You wanna go all the way to the edges so that you have nice crisp lines. So that's what it looks like so far. I'm gonna pull this out and I'm going to grab a hold of this. Oh, I'm excited. Pull it off, yay. I'm so excited. Now, what did I do with my little, oh, my little hook. My little hook is missing. What you need is, let me grab my hook. I'll be right back. I have one right over here. All you need is something sharp. Something sharp, something with a point, something like that. And you're just gonna use it to, this is like a dental pick almost but you could use tweezers. I always tell people they could you know, use tweezers. Just something that has a little bit of an edge, an X-Acto knife if you're careful or depending on who, who's gonna be doing it. But you're just gonna lift those little inner pieces out. And this turned out really cute. I'm excited about this. So we will work on getting the, the shop 
stocked with these cute little tote bags. Let me open it up for you so you can see once again. It's nice and thick and it has a, has a, a set of straps that you can tie across the top. But it is, I would say it's about eight inches deep. And then it has these two cute little handles. So I'm excited. So that leaves me the other side, which I'm gonna do with my saying. So I'll come back, you can watch part two if you'd like to see the other side. Thanks for watching.